All right, guys. Uh, like I said, I don't want y'all to see the car, but guess who's back? Yes, uh, speak of the devil. I think MC996, MC such and such. I'm just going to call him MC such and such. He called me out. Matter of fact, today, it's the same, very same day. This car is back, guys, but it's not a it's not a comeback. It's not a recheck. I wasn't even here. I didn't even get to put the part on. So I guess the part got hit this morning, and they had to get somebody else to put it on. Well, he's back, not for heated seats. This is the one with the heated seats, guys. And I was a little frightened, guy. I'm like, yo, uh, where's my parts? Oh, the parts got here. I was late this morning. Part got here this morning. I wasn't here, so they got somebody else to put it in. I was like, did he fix it? Did he fix it? Guys, I told y'all, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, sometimes it doesn't matter how perfect you diagnose something. You still can be wrong. All right? That's why I still have a little fear Man, I've gone so far as to swap a part out and find out that it'll fix it. And I still be frightened if that's going to fix it when the new part gets here. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. Oh, um, yeah, see the seats. Uh, yes. You see it's lighting up now. Before, when I push it, nothing. Okay, so the module took care of the problem. Like I say, MC996 cars or something like that. <laughs> Mr. MC such and such, as Steve Harvey would say. Uh, yeah, he called me out, guys. And I went back to look at the diagram. He's right. What he was talking about, guys, was um, the the when I pulled the driver's seat. I remember, y'all. I crawled down there to see if I can visually see the heated control module. And I'm like, damn, I don't see it. It must be under there even higher. So I had the bright idea to totally remove the seat. So I had to take both four, all four bolts off the seat, get it up, and lo and behold, I flipped the seat upside down. No freaking seat seat module okay i'm in panic mode where in the hell the book says in the so some told me to go on the other side i looked under there and there it is but mc such and such <laughs> revealed to me that in the diagram that we all looked at remember i had it on display guys uh it did say uh on the passenger side <laughs> so i didn't see that if so i never would have took this seat apart this driver's seat apart for nothing thank you mc such and such 996 cars uh that was crazy but oh why is he back why is he here because i didn't ever know nothing about this complaint well anyway guys the heated seat now working yes you spoke the light red when the module is doing his job in fact i got it on driver side high and my butt is starting to warm up a little bit and my back okay so it is physically working okay why is he back jt um uh, he's back go figure guys when he come back i just happened to be here so why don't you give it back to the clown that took my two hours what, what did i charge i think we got two and a half hours for that two hours labor i don't know that's a that's a whole nother issue okay why he's back there's a clunky noise guys you put this car in gear now Ooh, y'all can't y'all can't feel or hear that but Yes, when you floor it, I'm bogging it down. I'm on the foot and the brake. I have my feet on the brake. When you get this car gas, that engine is literally trying to jump out of there. In fact, ooh. In fact, I want to show y'all. So I'm gonna go get a helper. Show y'all how to uh, how to visually. Y'all know I give out online mechanic tips, man. So this is one of those tip opportunities. Y'all don't see what I'm doing, and y'all don't feel what I'm doing because y'all there and I'm here. But I want y'all to see how, I want y'all to see what a broken or worn out motor mount can, what it can do or what it can, what kind of symptoms it can give off. Keep in mind, guys, the engine sets in a cradle, in a, in a, when the car, cars are being built, you know, you, they already have the whole complete, complete frame set. All right. So it's time to set the engine down in between the engine and the frame or the cradle. Is rubber bushings, uh, typically called engine support. Some may call them a motor mount. Okay, I guess in the mechanic world we call it motor mounts. So if it's a V engine, typically, typically they're gonna put one on each side. Okay, to balance out when you rev it up, they don't want the car, tr the engine trying to jump out of them. And people do rev their car. This car got 128, so that's bad. When I when I step on the gas a little bit, I hear a boom, boom. So the engine support job is to cushion that blow 
but just like anything else guys over time that engine mount that engine support will wear out okay and it would give off it would give off symptoms like this Ooh, that was a hard bump okay now it's a drive this is a real wheel drive car so there's a long drive shaft going to the rear okay i really need to let this car up in the air i'm going to let it up in the air and uh take a visual before i just write it Ooh, my butt is getting super hot now let's turn this up <laughs> yes shut that out this is working baby this is working i fixed it uh it got fixed but yes the engine support i want y'all to see what a broken engine support what kind of symptoms it can give off even if you're driving guys and you uh you want to pass somebody and you floor it uh it's going your engine gonna feel like it's trying to come up out of the car you can't continue to drive like that the rubber part of that bushing i don't care if it's oem or aftermarket it doesn't matter it's just worn out guys everything ain't got a lifespan to it engine mounts or engine support is no exception they too have a lifespan to it they just old tired and wore out okay um it's just as simple so from time to time they will need replacing now i want to show y'all because uh some of you guys some of you newbies out there might not know what i'm talking about and i hate to talk in riddles to you guys like when i say bog down what i refer what i mean by bog down is typically manually putting the vehicle under a load okay now you can however drive and put the car under a load by driving up a hill when you're driving up a hill your car is essentially under a load you can manually do that. You can simulate a load by merely stepping on the brake, putting the car in gear, and stepping on the gas. So if you're ever looking for any kind of secondary ignition, uh, misfires, things like that, or feeling for engine support being broken, motor mounts broken, this is what you do. And if you hear a mechanic use the phrase, oh, just bog it down, bog it down, and see if you feel it, that's what they're talking about. All right, man, let me go find a helper. I want y'all to see this motor mount. Hold tight, guys. I'll be right back. All right, this black 300, I uh, want you to put it in, get in it, start it up, put it in dry, step on the brake, and I'm trying to check for engine mounts. Motor mount's broken. Okay. So I want to see if the engine, how much the engine moving, because I think I'm going to need this. I'm gonna have, I think the motor mount's broken, but I want to see it. I can't see it if I'm in the car doing it. Right, okay. So hop inside. Yeah, pop the hood for me. All right, go ahead and fire it up. Just give it a couple of bumps. Make sure you're on the brake and all that good stuff. Oh yeah. Hold on, do it again. Again. Alright, now just bump it. I don't, you don't have to skid it. Oh. Yeah, it's trying to jump up out of there. Alright, go in reverse. Try to do it in reverse. All right, so that that side there, all right, this side here is really broken, but we're going to do them in pairs. All right, you good, man. Put it in park. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. I see that. So it jump up real bad on this side. So this side here, mount is really gone. This side here, not so bad, but we're going to do them in pairs. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, guys, so let me go write this estimate up, and uh, we'll go from here.